what's up family thank you so much for stopping by my channel and if you are new go ahead and like this video subscribe hit that notification bell to get notifications every Wednesday at 5 o'clock so today um, I'm just out and about with my daughter and my baby in the back I don't know if y'all can see him but he back there um, knock out right now but I said I was gonna come and run a few errands today um, right now I came on base so I can get a couple of things from the commissary and then once I finish getting what I got to get from the commissary then I'm probably gonna run to the seafood uh, market because I'm thinking about cooking some seafood today maybe some like crabs shrimp potatoes corn sausage something like that um but I said while I'm out I'm just gonna vlog so y'all can see what I got going on or what I'm doing but other than that, I'll be right back with y'all. So I'm officially back from out the commissary getting a couple of things so that I can cook my crabs when I get home. And now I'm on my way to the exchange because my daughter wants to go to GameStop to see what they got inside there. But look who is up, y'all. Look who is finally up. Say hey. Say hey. Oh, you ain't trying to hear it? You ain't trying to hear it? He acting shy, y'all. So now I'm about to be pull up out of here. Go ahead over there to the exchange, then run to the seafood market, and I will meet y'all back at home. All right? Peace. I know I said I would meet y'all guys at home, but I had to check back in with y'all. Look here. It is so hot outside. It's like, what, 96 degrees, almost 100 degrees. It is hot as hell out here. This just don't make no dang old sense. This heat doesn't make nobody want to come outside. It just makes you want to stay in the house because it's just so hot. All it does is just drain you. It's just depressing. I'm just like, dang, I really don't want to go nowhere because it's just so hot outside. So now I'm just sitting out here waiting on my daughter to hurry up and come up out of GameStop because I guess I don't know what's the difference between one game stop and the next game stop but she wanted to come on base to come to their game stop because i guess she liked the variety of games they have than the other game stop but i'm like they all game stop they should have they the same they should have like the same amount of games but i don't think this game stop on base you got to pay any taxes on the game compared to when you're off base you got to pay taxes on the game so I'm just waiting on her to come back outside so I can run to the seafood market, y'all. So I can get my crabs, cook my crabs when I get home. But tell me why I went into the um, commissary and still didn't get the stuff that I needed to put inside my crabs. Like the sausage, even though I don't eat sausage, it'll be for somebody else. Um, the corn, the potatoes. So I still didn't get those things when I went into the commissary and I had my mind set on getting those things that I needed to put inside my crabs when I cook my crabs so now that's going to be an extra step that I got to take to go back to the grocery store to put that stuff inside my crabs so I'm just like oh if it ain't one thing is another but I'm already out here so I might as well get everything while I'm out so I won't have to come back out here once I get home even though it's like hot as hell out here so I said let me check back in with y'all and chit chat with y'all before I go to the seafood market and go back to the grocery store again and then head home so other than that I guess I'll finally meet y'all back at home peace all right guys so i am officially back home i just pulled up to the house bringing these groceries in i'm about to get these pots rocking so i can start cooking my crabs so y'all can see these seafood skills look who yeah. now look 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 now know. look I'm now, now. Just, oh he don't even know how he doing he just wanted to make his face known so that the ladies can see him in the video uh, but anyways 
I'm about to get these pots rocking so I can show y'all how I get down cooking these crabs. Charleston style. Okay, y'all don't know nothing about that. But I'm going to show y'all how I get down with these crabs, all right? So, I'll be right back with y'all when I get these pots rocking, all right? All right, y'all. So, as y'all can see, I already changed about my clothes. I got my comfortable clothes going. I got my pot on the stove with my seasoning. I don't know. I'm about to show y'all right now. I don't know if y'all can see it. But I got my pot on the stove with my light with my seasoning. I'm waiting on it to come to a boil. I already added some of the some onions, some jalapenos, um, the potatoes, the corn and sausage. And then I'm waiting on, on that to come to a boil. And then once that comes to a boil, I will go ahead and um add my crabs in there now just remember now for y'all don't know water don't cook crabs steam cook crabs so i'll go ahead and turn that turn everything down and let that steam cook them crabs and then once everything is all together then i'll be right back with y'all so y'all can see how everything look and come together good afternoon so yesterday I did I cooked some crabs and um I didn't get to show y'all my portion of the crabs I showed the the kids because my kids was eating crabs but I didn't get to show y'all my portion of the crabs because my dang on I got a notification um showing on my camera that my SD card was full so I ended up having to switch out my SD card and after I had to do that and it told me that was full I was like you know what I don't feel like vlogging again for the night so I ended up charging up my battery changing out my SD card and I said that I would check in with y'all today to finish, finish vlogging for today and then just to let y'all know that I received my degree in the mail so I said I wanted to show y'all that and when I got that I was just so excited so but being that I um received my degree it really to me I feel like yes it's an accomplishment but it don't mean nothing if you can't even find no job because of everything that's going on during the um pandemic but I said I wanted to check in and show y'all my degree that I received in the mail because I'm really excited about that so let me show y'all my degree I'm so excited I was because oh, that's like a big accomplishment most people you know don't go and receive a bachelor's degree that's just like a biggest big accomplishment before for me besides um graduating basic training and doing being in the military but i think this is a big big <clears throat> accomplishment for me even though i received my associate's degree when i was in the army but being being able to get my bachelor's degree oh ain't nothing gonna stop me now i say i'm gonna go ahead and start uh, my master's degree program so i can go ahead and get that and knock that out right and i start that this week um on the 29th so but yeah let me show y'all my um bachelor's degree so here's it right here and i'm really excited about that because i'm like most people don't get to go to school and be able to complete an accomplishment yeah but another thing i was really upset about is the simple fact that they canceled graduation and I can understand why they cancel graduation because, you know, ain't nobody trying to catch no um, coronavirus. 
Um, but I can understand why they cancel it, but you know, I really wanted to experience that because you know, I've never experienced that before except when I got my high school diploma. But I know it's kind of, you know, different from getting your high school diploma. And I really wanted to experience that, but they are saying that they are doing graduation virtually. And I'm like, uh, it's really not the same, you know. I understand why they canceled it because they want, you know, want people to be safe. And people have to, it'll be probably a lot of people have to wear your mask and all that. Nobody got time for all of that. But it's a big difference between um, walking across the stage and doing it virtually. You know, to me it is because it, it's, it's really not the same. Like, I don't know if I really want to participate in it. I haven't decided yet. Y'all know who got to make the noise in the background. Y'all know he got to make it, you know, make his presence known. So excuse him. I'm, ex you know, excusing him for y'all. But um, I don't, I haven't decided yet if I want to do the virtual graduation. Because I'm just like, uh, it really don't sit right with me. Because, you know, I really wanted to dress up, walk across the stage and experience that. But say hi. Say hello. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, I'm, I'm, it just don't sit right with me. I'm still thinking about it. But if not, if I don't decide to do it virtually, I am about to start my master's degree. So hopefully everything is over and done with by the time I graduate. Because that will be like another two years before I graduate with my master's degree. And I start that program this week on the 29th. But I said that, you know, being that I'm not able to walk the stage, I'll definitely walk the stage when I get my master's degree because you know I just want to feel like I accomplished something which I did accomplish something I accomplished <laughs> I accomplished completing this uh this bachelor's degree and that's like a big accomplishment because I haven't accomplished nothing big like that since I you know when I had grad was in the military and graduated basic training that was another big accomplishment and you know got married and then had kids but this is a big accomplishment because I think I'm the only one, you know, within my immediate family, as as old as I am, that received my bachelor's degree. Like my mom, and she didn't go to school and receive her bachelor's degree. My dad didn't go to school to receive his bachelor's degree. My sister, she didn't go to school and receive a bachelor's degree. She just got a, you know, associate's degree. But I feel like that's a big accomplishment. And I wanted to set, you know, can get that done, set an example for my kids to let them know that you can do anything that you put your mind to. You can do anything you put your mind to. You just got to keep at it. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't do nothing. Okay? Don't let nobody tell you that you dumb. That you can't, you know, get it done. You can. You can do anything that you put your mind to. Always remember that. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't do it. Okay? You can do anything you put your mind to. And I said, let me go to school, get this bachelor's degree. Let me do this for my kids so I can show them that, okay, I did this. I did this for y'all. I did this to put y'all in a better place, to put y'all in a better predicament, to make more money for y'all so y'all can do the things that y'all want to do. And to show y'all, okay, if I can do it, you can do it. You know, so I said that, um, yeah, I was just going to check in with y'all and... Okay, Dominic. Okay. All right. So I said I was just going to check in with y'all and, you know, let y'all know like what my plans were. But so let me tend to this one and I'm probably going to get dressed for the day because I'm not dressed for the day. And tend to this one and head out. So I'll check back in with y'all. So I came over here to pick my daughter up from work. I'm just waiting on her to come back outside. She get off at 7. But I don't think I have anything else going on. Just chilling. Trying to finish out this vlog. And get ready for the next vlog. So until the next vlog. I'll be back with y'all. 